Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where I am going to be sharing what is new in my wardrobe for summer. Right, so let's get started with my first item which is this knitted skirt from the brand Me and M. Now I know you wouldn't really expect to hear the word knitted in a summer clothing video, but this is cotton, but I'm not gonna lie, it is quite thick and quite heavy. Now I've worn this a few times already, mainly in an evening where the weather gets a bit cooler. I have not worn this in the day with some of the temperatures that we've been having recently. And I'm not sure if I would. I might try it just for experimental purposes, but I haven't thus far, just because it is quite a thick and heavy fabric. And yeah, I'm just preferring to sort of wear linen and as little clothes as possible, but in a breathable way when it's really, really hot. But this is a beautiful skirt. It's actually part of like a co-ord set. So there was a matching top to this available on their website. However, that sold out really quickly and it was sort of a sleeveless design in the same fabric as this. So again, it might be a little bit warm for wearing during the day, but nice for when it gets a bit cooler in an evening. Um, and I am gonna keep my eye out for that top coming back in stock because I'm obsessed with it and I really would love that whole sort of cohort vibe. And in terms of style as well, it's an A-line skirt. It's not fully maxi on me, but depending on your height, obviously it could be maxi. It's got a frayed sort of little hemline, very sort of Chanel, you know, how those sort of Chanel boucle tweed sets, skirts and blazers come. It's got that kind of hem to it. And in terms of like the style, I mean, it's just, it's an ecru color with some black stripes. So I wouldn't have said it's particularly trend orientated. So again, it's one of those sort of items which even if I bought the top, it would have some longevity in my wardrobe because it's not just a one season wonder. Now I've been wearing this with just black on the top because I don't have the matching top. So I've been wearing it with basic. So a basic sleeveless vest, or a basic black t-shirt. And that for me, along with my sort of go-to pair of sandals are my Chanel dad sandals, which are also black. So that has my sort of very core minimalistic vibe to what I would deem as one of my very basic summer outfits. Next up, I'm going to go for this. So this is a new design from the brand Little Lifner. And I think those of you who are familiar with me and my style, perhaps you've been a subscriber or a follower over on Instagram, you'll know I quite like a woven bag come the summer season. My go-to brand is normally Dragon Diffusion. However, and I do have one other Little Lifner bag in my bag collection. This one recently came out and I fell in love with it. It's a color that I don't have, so it's not, it's not one of those stereotypical things that I do of buying something which is almost identical to something else because I wear it so much, but slightly different. This one is a different color to all of the other bags that I do have in my collection. So it is different and there is a variation there and, and a value that is now added to my wardrobe. The only thing that I would say is that unfortunately it does not fit on the shoulder so it is literally just a handheld bag um, and it also does not have any kind of like security it just has this strap here this leather strap which has got a silver weight on the end which dangles down and that sort of keeps the bag closed together in the center there it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have like more of a secure closure um, because I don't live in the city anymore and I'm not using a bag for that kind of purpose so for me it's more just of a sort of an accessory. Right, let's move on to my next item, which is a slightly different take on a basic t-shirt dress. So this one is basic with a twist. So you won't be able to see it on screen at the moment because the dress is relatively long, but it has an asymmetric hemline, so it varies in length. And then it has this ruching detail here on the left-hand side. I think a t-shirt dress is a really good staple for the summer seasons. It's very basic, so it's easy to sort of dress up and accessorize if you want to, but it's also one of those items that works well for you on a more casual day where you just don't really wanna dress up or anything like that. So this one, it just has a slight bit of design detail to it here and there with the reaching and the asymmetric hem. So it just sets it apart from some of the very, very basic t-shirt dresses, but it's a nice lightweight fabric. This is a stretch cotton, so it is, I think the fabric makeup of this one is 90% cotton with a bit of, 
I think it's either elastin or polyamide in this one because it does have that stretch element to it. So it is still a nice breathable fabric, although it's slightly more fitted on the top and the sleeves are slightly more fitted, not super baggy. It does flare out at the bottom more of like an A-line shape. So you do um, get that ventilation, you know, sometimes where you might need it. Right, next is kind of like a plethora of things from Marks and Spencer and it's from their linen collection. So I have, I have just three items here, but I think, and this was probably my biggest sort of purchase of the summer. And it was mainly to replace some older linen pieces, which had gone a bit threadbare and which some of the colors had faded and all that kind of thing. So um, these are just basically all from their linen collection at Marks and Spencer. This one here, I have got, it's essentially like a linen t-shirt. Hang on, let me just put those down so I can talk through this one first. So it is essentially like a linen t-shirt. It's got a bit of an A-line shape to it because it flares out. On the back, it's got that little detail, little keyhole detail where you've got the button fastening at the top and then the little opening there, and then it has a little back pleat as well, which adds to that kind of A-line, very floaty shape. Now I sized up in this to a size 14, so I would normally be a UK size 10. I always size up in Marks and Spencer's linen. In fact, I always size up in tops in general, I think, but when it comes to Marks and Spencer's linen, whether it be their shirts or items like this, I always size up by a couple of sizes at least, just because I prefer that slightly more oversized fit. And even if something is already oversized, I'll still upsize again, just because that's my preference. And especially when it comes to the summer seasons, I just like to have things fitting very, very loose so that I get that ventilation and air on my skin. So this is just, I feel like a slightly dressier version of a basic t-shirt. So if I wanted to feel maybe like I've made a little bit more of an effort and not so basic t-shirt, then I would swap this one in instead. And then the linen trousers I've bought, I think maybe four pairs of linen trousers from Marks and Spencer this season. These are just a couple of them. And I think actually I showed quite a few of them in some of my previous videos. So this style in the front here is a wide leg with an elasticated waist. And I've spoken about this before, but I love elasticated waists. I have some digestive issues. So for me, when it comes, especially to summer season, cause I feel like there's sort of temptations lurking out there. There's ice cream, there's bread and dip and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like it's, it's one of those necessities within my wardrobe to have an elasticated waist just to, you know, accommodate the bloat. So yeah, this, this style in the front, they've got in a few different colors and they have in this really nice ecru and stripe vibe, which I think is quite similar to the Me and M skirt. So I'm, I'm quite fond of a vertical stripe. And I've said this again before, but what I love about Marks and Spencer is that they have the different leg lengths. So for me, I always go in their trousers for a 10 long and it is one of the only uh, brands that accommodates for my leg length. And that is why I love them so. And then this pair here at the back is more of a tapered style. Again, they're in a 10 long. These ones are in white. They are very sheer. So you do have to wear nude underwear because underwear is very, very visible under this white color. They do come in a few other cool colours as well, and I think they have a couple of summer brights as well, if that is your thing. Next up on the list is another black dress. And yep, I know there'll be some people that really don't understand people wearing black in the summer. It's actually a scientific myth that black makes you feel hotter in summer. Anyway, yes, I love black. Black is by far one of my favorite colors in my wardrobe, but I know you can't even call it a color because it's not a color, but I love it. It makes me feel confident. I love it against my skin, against my hair. I loved it against my hair when I was blonde. I love it against my hair now that I'm darker. I love it with a tan and I always tend to get a little bit of a tan in summer and then I'll top it up with my fake tan as well. Uh, and this is again from Marks and Spencer, it's from their autograph range. And this is a plissé style. I'd say it's like a column dress because it literally just goes straight down. On me, it is a midi length, but again, that will depend on your height. It's obviously sleeveless with a round neck and there is also a little split either side at the bottom as well. 
good for ventilation. I'm all about that ventilation. And I know I sound like a bit of a broken record here, but I think it's becoming quite clear that this is something that I look for in items when I'm buying them for my wardrobe. Versatility. Versatility is the word that I uh, always aim for. And this is one of those items which again can be dressed up or dressed down. I could wear this with chunky sandals or just, you know, skinny sandals or I could dress it up for more of an evening vibe. It does have a slightly smarter feel to it. And I actually bought this because it has a very similar look and feel to it as the Izimiyaki Pleats Please collection, which some of you might have seen here and there. They have some very sort of basic pieces. It's all kind of items like this. In fact, I think they have a dress just like this. Um, but obviously the price tag will be considerably larger. So I opted for Marks and Sparks. Right, next up is a pair of sandals. They are chunky sandals. Now I do feel like my summer footwear collection is almost complete. Or I'm, I'm just really, really satisfied with it. I rarely feel the need to buy a new style or a new pair of sandals, unless it's Birkenstocks, just because I like to have the variation and I know that they are my go-tos for comfort. But, I have had a pair of sandals on my wish list for some time now, and it was the Hermes Chipri, Kip, Kipri, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, but it's spelled C-H-Y-P-R-E. And I believe they were based on a menswear pair of sandals because they're very, very chunky and they've just got the H in big sort of thick straps. But what has always drawn me to them is that they've got really decent footbed, just like these. They look really squishy and really comfortable. And yeah, I did kind of form a bit of an obsession with them, but they've been sold out for a couple of years now. I'd imagine they have the odd pair here and there. So I have acquired a kind of dupe. They're very similar. They don't have the H, but they do have the kind of very chunky straps to them. And these are sort of my, my um, solution to curb the need for those Hermes sandals because I'd imagine those Hermes sandals are very very expensive I'm not actually sure of the price so these are from the brand Alohas and Alohas is a brand that you can purchase and pre-order you can purchase items which are in stock but you can purchase and pre-order so that they only manufacture the amount of items which have been pre-ordered. So it's basically a brand which is trying to reduce waste by only producing what is in demand. And so I got this pair. They are leather, they're made in Spain. They've got quite a weight to them actually. And these are a size 40, which fit me perfectly. So I would say if you are in between sizes, like if you're a half size, which I am, I'm a 40.5, you can size down because they are a little bit generous. But yeah, I love these. They're chunky, which is just my vibe. And they go with a lot of the things in my wardrobe because they are like quite a neutral color. Right, next item, it's not my last, no, next item. Now I've spoken about this before, I think maybe back in April time, I mentioned this for the first time, um, but this is the newest addition to my blazer collection and collaboration with The Curated. We've finally done a linen. It took a while to get the linen fabric right, to find the right samples. We got sent lots of different samples and none of them were quite right. Um, and then finally this one came along and it was mm, just right, or just right in my eyes anyway, because it's, it's my design. Um, so yes, this is just basically the linen addition to my classic blazer collection. It is again, like all of the wool and cashmere ones, it is fully lined. It's single breasted with just the one central button and of course the vent at the back as well. Now, as you can see here, I have been wearing mine and I've been ruching up the sleeves. So you can see there is a bit of creasing here on the sleeves and that is just the nature of linen. But I kind of like it. it makes it sort of, I know a blazer kind of adds a smarter tailored element to an outfit, but I think when it comes in a linen, it gives it that kind of low key vibe. Um, and I really love that. And I'm really, really, I'm obviously really, really pleased with the collaboration and the how the blazers came out in general. But this one, because I have such a love for linen, I'm really, really proud of this one. 
And finally, again, this was another item which you'll have seen either on my Instagram or in various videos over the last couple of months, but this was a new purchase for my summer wardrobe and it is a basket bag from Massimo Duty, but it's uh, very similar to the Loewe basket bags that I've got, but what I wanted was something with no logo. So as you can see, there's no logo. And it is Massimo Duty, so it's a high street brand and I feel like high street brands are really good at not kind of plastering their, or at least some high street brands are good at not plastering their logo everything. And I like that because it keeps it a bit more low key. And it's, it's a decent size and it does fit over the shoulder nice and comfortably. It's not too big, not too small. And one thing that I was looking for is I have the low every basket bags, but of course with the tan leather hardware or the tan leather accents and straps. And I was looking for something with black. So this finally came along. And although it was, I think, just short of £100, which is quite expensive for High Street. But again, it's one of those classic items, which is, you know, a basket bag. It's one of those things you can bring out summer after summer after summer. It is not a trend. It is just summer appropriate. It's got, um, so these straps are leather. And then inside, if you can see, it does actually have a bag within a bag. Um, so this is removable. It is a little canvas sort of pouch thing, again with leather, a zip on the top, and that can literally, you can either pop it in there or you can take it out, and that just keeps your things sort of concealed and hidden. And yeah, this I've been wearing a lot. This has actually been my most worn bag. I've actually been wearing this more than the Loewe bas la 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 la, more than the Loewe basket bags uh, this season. So that was a really, really good addition to my wardrobe. <sighs> Right, I am sweating. I have got sweat dripping down the backs of my legs and my neck. My hair is starting to mat. I'm warm, I need to go and remove this knitted dress. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in today, whatever day that may be, to watch me waffle on about what's new in my wardrobe. Um, I appreciate you guys always tuning in and also for all of your comments below, thank you very much. Um, so yes, thank you again and I'll see you